Hey guys, it's LaDawn Black. I'm back with Tease TV and I thought I would get a few questions in before I go work out. You know, I'm trying to get the workout on because in a few weeks I will be shooting my second calendar, uh, the 2010 calendar, and um, I want it to be right. I don't want to be a hot mess. So as much as I hate working out, I've been doing it the last few weeks trying to get myself in shape. So let's just jump right into the questions. Now, the questions today are basically Facebook questions because that seems to be where you guys want to hit me up. So let's go ahead and do that. Hair, having hair issues today. My hair is all over the place, but we're going to work through that. All right. First question. It says, LaDon, I'm 19 years old. I'm dating a 30-year-old guy. He's currently locked up. He's on his way out. He wants to be committed. He wants to move in when he gets out. And my family doesn't know about the relationship. And I need to know what to do. Okay, sister. First off, any relationship that you can't tell your family about is a relationship that's a little... Uh, so definitely tell your family about the relationship. That is very, very important. Second piece of advice that I'll give you is that you guys are both at a point in your lives where you need to kind of focus on you. So I don't think there's anything wrong with the relationship in general. I don't think there's anything wrong with dating a guy who's done some jail time. I think, you know, guys change their lives. They can be good partners. Nothing wrong with that. But I think his focus needs to be on getting a job, getting a place, getting his life together. And you're 19. Your focus needs to be on school, a job. What are you going to do with the rest of your life? Have the relationship, but stay separate. Work on your personal development and then eventually come together. Give yourself some time to see if this relationship actually has some legs on the outside. Okay, the second question is one that pops up all the time. When your lover has a friend of the opposite sex, how do you handle it? Now, in this particular situation, a sister was engaged and her man just would not give up his friend. He's had this female friend for 20 plus years. They talk on the phone all the time and the woman was just uncomfortable with the relationship. So she actually dumped her fiance and she wanted to know, did she make the right decision? Okay, sister, based on the things that you left in your email, he didn't want to bend. He didn't want to compromise. He didn't want to make you feel comfortable with the friendship, which in many ways shows that either they were, uh, there was more of a personal relationship there that he wanted to let you know about, or she just didn't like you. And those are two things that would be very detrimental to a long-term relationship. So personally, I think you made the right decision because when you're friends with someone and you're, you know, an opposite sex friends, and that person actually gets involved with someone seriously, the best thing to do is to extend that olive branch and try to be friendly with that person. And clearly this woman didn't try, which means she suspects. So uh, yeah, you made the right decision. And the third and final question is one that I think is very, very interesting. A sister moved to Dallas for a job opportunity. She left her kids here in the area just for two weeks so that they could finish school with her mother. Okay, daddy of one of the children comes and gets the daughter. Grandma gives the child up. You know, it's his child. What can she do? And mom comes back home and the child's gone. So she goes to court to try to get her child and the father claims abandonment. The judge doesn't like her attorney, so she doesn't win. Then when she goes to appeal, the case is coming up before the same judge. So this woman just feels powerless. She's trying to figure out what she should do. Well, sister, this is my advice to you, okay? You've tried the legal system. You don't think it worked for you. So now it's time to make your case public. I would say document, document, document. Write down times, dates, people you talk to, situations. Outline it all and take it to the press. Find your local news channel. Find your local paper. Find your local magazines and make your case public. Because the other thing that you mentioned is that this man has never had a relationship with your child. And then the other piece is that you think his environment is not that safe. So you're really kind of concerned for your daughter. So definitely make it public. In making it public, you get the community upset. And sometimes that'll make things change. It may change your whole situation. So definitely, definitely look into that. Okay, those are my three questions. If you have a question, you can leave it for me at Facebook or YouTube, which people seem to be doing, or you can do the old-fashioned way. 
who knew we'd be saying email is old fashioned? You can email it to me at radio. Nope, that's for the radio show. At advice, there you go, at ladonblack.com. You can send me your questions there and I will address them. Now, something that I wanted to share with you, something I'm excited about. This is a galley. This is what I got from Random House. Tees, Steamy Short Stories, The Galley. Now, what a galley is, is kind of uncorrected version of your book that they send to reviewers so that people can start having some early buzz about it, you know, three, four months out before that book actually comes out in August. But the piece that I wanted to show you, this isn't the cover. This is just kind of like a dummy cover. But what I wanted to show you was the title page. Because I'm so proud. I'm so excited about my title page. Okay, you ready? Here's Tease. Isn't that cute? Isn't it like the coolest thing ever? Tease Steamy Short Stories is all about a weekly paper. So I really like that they kind of rolled the classified in to the uh, actual title page. And it's all about the classified ads and who puts those personals out there that are totally crazy and how they develop these, you know, sexual needs and sexual urges. That's what the book is all about. So if you want more information on teas, go to ladonblack.com, click on Tease the Novel. The synopsis is there. I want to thank all of you who've already pre ordered. The book is available everywhere Amazon.com, BarnesandNobles.com, Borders.com. Randomhouse.com, <laughs> IndieBound.com, did I say that already? Well, IndieBound.com, there you go. Um, so definitely pre-order your copy of the book. They're available now. They'll ship August 25th, hot book. Okay, final things that I will tell you. Continue to check out The Love Zone. Thanks to all of you who gave me suggestions on how to revamp the show. Over the next few weeks, you will see some of your changes in place. Love Zone, 92Q, Baltimore, D.C., 92.3 FM, Sunday through Thursday, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. And the final bit that I'll share with you is if you haven't been over to LaDawnBlack.com, you have to check out my site. There are all sorts of new features. I have a dating portion on there now. Twitter is on there now. Of course, my love advice is there. I have a whole booking page about who I talk to, when I talk to them, and how I can come out and talk to you. And I guess the final piece is the press piece that I added because a lot of people are like, well, where can I find you? So now all the publications, all the radio stations where you can hear me, all that is on LaDonBlack.com. Make sure you check it out. And I'm trying to drag this video out. <laughs> but I have to so let me go ahead and sign off thanks again for all your support the books the radio show all my little pet projects thank you so much for your support and I gotta go because I gotta go sweat and as you can tell I'm really excited about that yeah